Now let's break it down emotionally. Emotions are powerfully affecting. You see, yet they are vulnerable to an injury. You see, James describes the tongue as a fire. You see, James 3 and 6 says, and the tongue is a fire. A world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. And who 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 has not been burned by it? You see the book of Proverbs 15 and 4 says, A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perseverance in it breaks the spirit. So it describes a healing tongue as a tree of life. You see, as much as love is an action, what would romance be without words? You see, encouragement often comes through spoken words. So does discouragement. You see, reckless words pierce like a sword. The book of Proverbs tells you that. It says there's one whose rash words are like sword thrust, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. You see, the wound is emotional and it is deep. And what we say can have a profound effect on others. You see, sometimes you're not realizing that some things that you are saying or have said to somebody else is gotten back to someone else. As a matter of fact, the things that you are saying that you're saying to that very every same person you don't know how you taking the time out of your life you taking the time out your busy schedule to walk around and start talking about people you see it don't make no sense but you know, this is what grown folks do for a living that's why grown folks that's why grown folks especially folks that call themselves grown you have nothing and you will never have nothing you see I'm gonna tell you what God loves God loves the, the, the truth and the truth is this, you see, once you start changing who you are, and once you start changing that frame of mind, and once you start changing your thought process, then things are going to start looking up in your life. Don't get me wrong, I ain't talking about nobody. Because somebody sent me a note one day and said, do you be talking about me when you be free? No, I'm not talking about you, but guess what? If the shoe fits, boo-boo, wear it. If the shoe fits, get it on and put it on. Get your little shoe on and slap it on and tie your shoe strings up and wear it. And if you feel like I'm talking about you, then this must be something that you're doing that you ain't got no business doing. That's how I feel about it. And y'all know I don't care if I have a friend in this world. It don't make no difference because God is my friend. It could care. I could care less who else like me. Matters to me not. So if you got the time to send me a note how about this, you was you talking about me that day when you said, uh, well, if the shoe fits wear it and wear it proudly because obviously there's something going on in your world that you think somebody got time to talk about you inconclusively uh-uh you ain't that important you see God made us expressive beings so so you see we are nearly lost without communication you see that is why we have audio recordings and braille for the blind and sign language for the deaf and writing for anyone who has something to say from afar, you see. Indeed, speech has enormous implications, you see, especially as a vehicle for sharing the gospel. Come on now. Now, Romans 10 and 14 says, How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? You see, therefore, we are commanded, uh, commanded uh, to control the tongue, to keep it from evil and your lips from speaking lies, you see. Because in the book of Psalms 34 and 13 says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. You see, a Christian speech should consistently honor the Lord. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse him. You see, who have been made in God's likeness, you see, out of the same mouth, Come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Because in the book of James 3, 9 and 10 says, With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing, my brothers. These things ought not to be so. You don't believe me? Just go ahead on and read that good book, that Bible that your mama been teaching you about all your life. 
That Bible that your mama had on that dining room table your whole life. And when you left your house, she gave you a Bible and said, you need to keep this up, my son. You need to keep this up, my daughter. And read this and know that what God speaks is the most and profound truth. If you don't believe me, you need to ask somebody. Because I'm not here to tell you a word or lie. You need to keep your mouth shut if you ain't got nothing good to say about nobody. That includes texting, typing, email, and anything else you want to communicate with. Y'all need to read that book and find that movie called A Thousand Words. Where he only had a thousand words left before he died. You better make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because God don't sleep. Nor slumber. He don't sleep family. And if you don't believe me like I said. They got a big old book. I know y'all know what it is. You may, some of y'all may not believe it. But it's all true. That's your book for living. May God continue to bless you and keep you. Temptations on every hand Though Satan's tried To stop me And to place my feet On sinking sand Through the pain And all of my sorrows Through the tears And all of To keep me for he's kept me in the midst of it all. Not because I've been so faithful. Not because.
thought I could do it on my own. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. for today, Father God. Thank you, Father God, that you lifted so many spirits today, Father God, through your word, Father God, not mine, through your word, Father God, someone has seen and heard a message, Father God. Father God, as we go through this week, Father God, please bless each and every one of us. Father God, please, please, please touch your hands on the sick, the discouraged, the hungry, the thirsty, the naked. Those who can't speak your name, Father God. And Father God, for those who, who, who just need you, Father God. Father God, we know that you are right there always, all the time. Father God, bless us all, Father God. There's some things going on in this world, Father God, we don't have the answers to. But Father God, we know you do. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, thank you. Bless this ministry, Father God, that we may go, we may go further and further and further and further as you see fit, Father God. And your son Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen I want to thank my listeners because you guys are always without you we don't have an audience thank you guys for taking the time out to stop by Urban Souls Inspirations and one day it will be an entity all by itself and that is what I am working on right now and it is going to be a very very good thing stop by our shows during the week on Monday we have the quiet storm with northern lights on Tuesdays we have the All Request Line with DJ Diamond B. On Wednesdays, we have Hump Day Happy Hour, Sexy Chill Out with DJ Jazzy Rella. On Thursdays, we have The Marshall's Request, One Artist Request. On Friday, we, that's it Thursday, yeah. on Friday, we have The House Party, <laughs> The House Party, DJ Zan. And also, we have The Steppers Grind with your boy. Hot DJ Host in the building, which we may be, he may have a permanent spot on Saturday. We're praying on that. Hopefully, he'll get back to us soon. Let us know if that's okay with him. That would be perfect. So, he'll have his own little spot on UrbanSouls.com and the Soul FM. Then, on Saturday, we have Saturday morning, which we hope will be DJ Host. And on Saturday night, you have your boy. You have your boy. That